Hello everybody, my name is Mason, and today we are talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 2. Now first I want to just go ahead and say that my talk is going to have some spoilers for Episode 1 because I need to talk about where it has come, you know, from the previous episode. But I'm going to talk about episode 2 in a non-spoiler way at first. And then I will start talking more in detail about the things that happened. I have a little list of things to talk about this time. So it's a little more concise compared to last episode. But anyway, so where we left off, episode 1, Obi-Wan has gone on his journey now. He has left Tatooine to save Princess Leia, who has been kidnapped by, I believe her name is the third sister. I don't know what her actual name is, but they call her third sister. And she wants to use her as bait for Obi-Wan. So he is essentially going into a trap. Now, this episode has the continuation of that, correct? But it's not the same tone as the first episode. There wasn't that somberness. I mean, there was a little bit for sure. It's, it's a very dark and gritty episode for sure, but it's not so depressing. Like, well, this has very much a, you know, rescue mission adventure type tone to it. And it was great. I really, really liked this episode. I don't know if I liked it more than the first episode. because It's very different, right? But it's it's good. I, I liked what I saw. Again, the music is awesome. The design of the planet that he goes to is really, really good. The different alien characters, all it was very, very good to look at. I liked all the prosthetics that was going on. Is it prosthetics? I don't think that's the right word for it. All the, the stuff, right? The, everything, how it looks, all the makeup, it all looks good. No complaints. In fact, I have no complaints of this episode whatsoever. It was really, really good. And yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and get into some spoiler stuff. So spoilers in three, two, one. You've been warned. So right at the beginning, we got a little cameo from Boba Fett himself slash Jango Fett slash all of the clones, right? We saw a clone who was begging for some credits on the street. He had like a whole beard thing going on. And you saw Obi-Wan reluctant to give him any credits because, I mean, he probably killed a Jedi. Right, or at least was there. He was an accomplice in Order 66. But he still gave him credits. It's like Obi-Wan still cares about people. Even though this person likely killed someone that he knew. I thought that was kind of bittersweet in a way. It just goes to show the kind of person that Obi-Wan is, and I really appreciated that. And then, obviously, it was great to see that very familiar face. Now, let's talk about Kumail Nanjiani, who was a Jedi. I saw that coming a mile away. Like, it was so totally a scam, and it was great. <laughs> I really liked that bit where Obi-Wan walks in, and he's like, I need help and then you just you just kind of see the realization that this guy is just a total fraud it, w it was awesome and then his whole little character development in that episode and deciding to help obi-wan like, i didn't realize you were a jedi you know kind of thing and giving them safe transport out just like he gave that little family the family of two i guess you know it was it was really good. I, I really liked Kumail Nanjiani's character. I like Kumail Nanjiani in everything that he's in, so of course I would like this, but I just, I thought his character was funny and 
just total trash, you know, but also had a heart, you know, it was, it was good. The chemistry between Obi-Wan and Leia was awesome. I really like this girl that's playing Leia. I think she's doing a fantastic job. She is so likable and such a brat, <laughs> uh, which, you know, is refreshing to have with Obi-Wan, who's very calm, collected, and very serious, right? And yeah, it's. I, I know I said that I wasn't excited about Leia being in this because I thought uh, it's just, you know, having Leia in there because, ooh, it's Leia. But I think they've actually made her character exceptional for this. You know, obviously Leia's a great character, but she's a child, right? But even as a child, she's a great character, and I'm very excited to see more. So thank you for making her cameo not a cameo and actually relevant to the story uh there was a line in there it was something like the less you say the less you give away or you think that the less you say the less you give away but it's actually the opposite i thought that was a really good line and it just you, you see the realization on obi-wan's face that damn she's smart <laughs> and then something like how old are you i'm 10 like Oh, did you not realize it's been 10 years since all this going on? Or did you just want to... You're just checking that she's actually 10 years old. <laughs> Again, she's a great, great, great character. The, their chemistry is awesome. It's, it's so polar opposite. And it's just... Yeah, I, I really like her character in here. She's causing a lot of trouble <laughs> in here. But then, you know, she gets that realization that Obi-Wan is telling the truth, that he is a Jedi. You know, she's falling, <laughs> which, by the way, there is a really funny part I'll talk about in a second, but she's falling, and she gets saved by Obi-Wan using the Force. But it was funny when she lets go, she's like, ah! <laughs> it was just the, the funniest little gasp. I, I, I li literally laughed. I just thought that was so funny. And then Obi-Wan just appears on the ground. You don't actually see him. Like He gets out of there really fast. I was like, did he jump? I wish we could have saw that, but I, it just seemed really fast. Like She was just on the ground. She stands up, and he's just running around the corner. Yeah, but these characters are very good together, and I'm excited to see how this story continues. I'm wondering if this is going to be sort of like a Mando and Grogu situation where they spend the rest of the series together? I guess we will see. Another great moment in this episode is when Obi-Wan finds out that Vader slash Anakin Skywalker is still alive. He's told that by the third sister I'm going to keep calling her that because I don't remember what her actual name is. And you just, just the shot on his face, just that realization that I didn't kill my friend. I didn't kill my brother. But he's a monster. It's It, it was fantastic. And then, obviously, another very important thing there is that the third sister, Inquisitor, she killed the head guy and got some payback, I guess, on him and really kind of set her up as, yeah, she is the villain of this story. So, excited to see how this plays out. I, I, I don't think she overacted this episode. I think she was good in here. And now she gets to chase after him so pretty excited to see what's coming next week i have to wait a week now but thankfully we got two episodes which is really nice and that's it those are my thoughts on episode two of obi-wan kenobi if you've i mean i hope you've seen it at this point since we're talking about spoilers but if you've seen it leave a comment section uh, i did it again leave a comment 
down below in the comments section if you liked it if you didn't like it tell me what you thought about it because I like to hear what you guys think because maybe I'm alone here maybe I'm the only one in the world that likes this I doubt it but maybe leave a like on this video if you want to see more content like this I will be starting plenty of TV shows coming soon so be on the lookout for that subscribe as always and I will see you in the next video take care